you geologist Chris Goldfinger. Now you're the one who set off all this interest with the article in the New Yorker. We've been doing these stories for years and nobody cares. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Suddenly right. this article comes out and you <clears throat> have a quote in there and now everybody cares. Well, yeah, it surprised the heck out of me too. I, I really underestimated how, how much influence the New Yorker has uh, and it just, it's just gone crazy. Is it some East Coast bias that somehow <laughs> somebody back in New York thinks I, it's important, now we suddenly think it's important? I, I think there might be something to that. And the New York Times and the New Yorker, or Washington Post, East Coast influence are very, uh, they're very influential. I think you also put it maybe much more bluntly than some folks have heard it before. Uh, that could be true. That could be true as well. It, it was, uh, it, it wasn't me though, the, the author, Catherine Schultz, uh, painted a pretty unvarnished picture of the whole thing <clears throat> in a, in a, and it was very clear to people that uh, what, what was being said. So I think that had a lot to do with it. All right, so if you're predicting this giant earthquake, lots of devastation, why do you still live here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, Paci I mean, I love the Pacific Northwest. It's beautiful here. I, I don't, I'm not changing my plans because of it. I, I think the thing that we all have to do, wherever we live, we, you know, if you're in New Orleans, you have hurricanes mm -hmm. or Florida. If you have tornadoes in the Midwest, whatever, you have to deal with something. Uh, and, and earthquakes are our, our, our little cross to bear, so uh, maybe a big cross to bear. So we have, we have some work to do, but I'm, I'm not planning on leaving. Well, we've been saying all week how important preparing really is, and we've been trying to give folks at home some great advice. What is it that you do specifically at home uh, to prepare for an earthquake? Maybe your emergency kit or something you might keep in a to-go bag or something like that? Uh, well, the first thing I did is I... Uh, uh, I have a little advantage being a geologist, so I bought a house that's on rock and uh -huh. to start with. And so that's, uh, in, in, a, in some ways, that's about 90% of the battle is mm -hmm. just make sure your house doesn't fall down. And even if you're out of power and fuel and whatever, you, you may be camping out in your own house and the house would have to be there for that. Uh, but uh, I strapped down the water heater so it doesn't, a lot of houses burn, actually burn down in earthquakes. And so if you have uh, uh, a gas gas powered water heater whatever you can you can strap that down that's one of the simplest things you can do uh, you can get um, uh, these gas shut off valves that are uh, I think about three hundred dollars or so that'll shut off the gas to the whole house even if you're not there which is which is a great thing if you're at work or somewhere else uh, you have, may have a house to come home to if mm -hmm. you have one of those and just real quickly because we have to go what are the odds again of a major earthquake in the next fifty years well the the, the data from the past say about thirty three 33, 35% for uh, anything bigger than an eight anywhere in Cascadia uh, in the next 50 years. Mm -hmm. Dr. Chris Goldfinger, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank great you. insight. And we know that you all have questions for the doctor as well. He will be answering those live this afternoon on our Coin6 Facebook page. So log on there and join in on the conversation. He'll be hanging out.